Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, we are going to be creating an Alexa skill that uses Airtable as a content management system for the back end. So we're creating an Airtable CMS for an Alexa skill. And if you're not familiar with Airtable, you can get there by going to Airtable.com. It is a, a SaaS based um, database solution. Uh, I guess they describe it as a sp part spreadsheet, part database. Um, but we're going to use this as our content backend, and we're going to use the data that we create in their table to uh, drive an Alexa skill. So let's um, let's get into it. For starters, you want to head over to Airtable.com and sign up if you don't already have an account. Actually, if you don't already have an account, you can go to DabbleLab.com/Airtable, and that will redirect you to um, like a uh, an affiliate link that will. Give you some extra credits if you do that uh, or you can just go go there either way that's fine and if you have an account you can go ahead and sign in i have one so i will go ahead and do that and once you're logged in i've set up here with a just a default account that doesn't have anything other than what you should see if you create a new account. So you'll have a, a demo workspace like this here. And when you create, they call it a base, which is, uh, I guess, the, the database. When you create a base, you can create those from templates or you can create them from scratch. And we're just gonna create one from scratch. So we just click on add base and then start from scratch. And I'm gonna call this um, content, or I'll call it Alexa content. and then open that base up and each base, when you create a new one from scratch, there's a default table just called table one. And I'm gonna rename that to content. And then um, there's some uh, default columns here too, name notes and attachments. We don't need these two. What we're gonna do is just set up like a basic, basic like key value pair. And so I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna rename it to, uh, to key. And there are different column types that you can use. And by default, this one is uh, using just a, a string, but there's also a formula type and the formulas that you can use. There's a number of formulas. I'm not gonna go into um, uh, super deep, but Airtable provides a, a lot of functionality, but there's one called record ID here. And this is just gonna provide the unique ID that's associated with the record. And this is what we're gonna use for our key. Uh, our key, And I'll delete this because we don't need this. And then um, we'll add a, another column and I'll call it value like this. And this is just gonna be a single line of text. And we're gonna drag this over here. And I'll leave the notes here. You might wanna like create notes that reference what the value is. And so like, for example, um, launch request, we'll use that, and we'll say hello from our CMS. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an Alexa skill that when it launches, it uh, speaks this hello from our CMS. And the reason that you would do something like this is to allow changes to your content on the back end. maybe you've got uh, like a, a, a team or somebody else that's updating information that maybe uh, doesn't need access to the code. So you can make any content changes without actually modifying your uh, Alexa skill. So the, the next thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll just create an Alexa hosted skill. And I'll just call this demo skill. And it's a custom skill that's gonna use the Alexa hosted for Node.js as the backend. And then when you get to the template selection, just leave the default there, the hello world skill. And we're gonna modify the code there. This is gonna take a minute, so I'm gonna let that run. And we're gonna use, um, with, uh, with Airtable, there's a really great API, so you just go to airtable.com slash API. This will give you a list of your bases and 
examples for how you can call the uh, the API to get or put the data into your uh, your your base. And so here we're going to be working with the content table, and it provides you with um, examples. So we're going to just retrieve a single record in this case using the record ID and um, this is how we would make that request. There's also, if you go to the JavaScript tab, there, there's also an NPM module for Airtable. I am gonna just use uh, Axios to do this. I think Axios, which is another NPM module, is um, the, the, their API is pretty straightforward and um, I'm gonna, rather than using their SDK, I'm just gonna use Axios. So if you go to NPM, uh, js.com and then search for Axios. This will, this is the one that we're looking for here. So this is going to be the, uh, the module that we're going to use and it's, this is the version. So the first thing that we are going to do is require that in our, so our, our skill is ready to go here, our Alexa hosted skill. But if we go to our package.json here, we're going to need to um, provide Axios as one of our dependencies. We would do that like this. We'll say that it's going to be 0 0.19.2 or greater, and we'll save that. And anytime you add a new dependency like this, uh, an NPM, a, a new module dependency, it takes a little while to deploy. So I'm going to start the deploy process. And that's going to take a little while because it's fetching the, uh, the, the package from NPM. We'll go back over here and um, what we're going to do here is just require the Axios module. Like this. And we'll save that. And we're going to modify the uh, the launch handler here. So right now, we're just looking at the default hello world code. So if we start this up, it's just going to say hello. You can say, or welcome, you can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? And what we want to do is we want to wire this up so that whatever we have in our Airtable table, our content table here, is um, going to be what what is. Uh, what we hear back when we uh, we launch. So we'll do that by using Axios, and we have um, we've required it here, just like this. And there's a lot of like um, helper functions. There's I find it easier to just use. Um, uh, let me see if I can show you like this, where you can just pass the config right into uh, the the Axios uh, instance and then um, use the response from this. So I'll show you kind of how I prefer to, to use Axios. Um, and there's, you can go and read through the documentation here. Um, you could also use this, this get request, but um, uh, let's let me go back over here and I'll show you how uh, we're gonna do this. So I have a an example of the config that I created earlier that I'm gonna use here. So let me just go here and I'll paste it in and tell you what's going on. So um, this here is oops. This is the configuration information that Axios is going to use to make the request. And there's some pieces in here that are relevant. So this ID is the ID of your base. So if you go to, or this, this value here uh, is in this, the second one here is the table name, which I'm calling this content. So we're going to change this to content. And then this ID here is the base ID. And you can get that if you go over to the airtable.com slash API here. You can see in the request example here, 
um, we're going to this, which is the base ID. And, and go back over to our code here and paste this in. Um, so this is the, uh, the, the base URL here, base ID, and then table name. And then this URL, uh, this is the record ID here. So this we're going to get from our Airtable key value. So we're going to use this record here. So I'm going to go back over here and paste this in. And then last, this header here, um, this Airtable requires uh, authorization and it uses bear token. So this is an API key here. And you can get that if you go to, um, if you go to Airtable and then go to, let's see, you go to your account here and from your account details here, you can create an API key. So like you can, I'll delete this one and create a new one. So you can see it'll look like this when you start. So you go generate an API key. And then when you click on it, you can copy the API key. Of course, you wouldn't want to share that. I'm sharing it in the video here uh, as a demo, but I can delete it right after. So not a big deal, but you want to copy that API key. And that's what's going to go here. This is the authorization that's going to be required for the bearer token. So it's going to look just like this. And so now I have everything that I'm going to require that's required for uh, the, uh, the config. And the next thing that I'm going to do is just make a request to get the information from Airtable, which is going to look like this. And I'm using going to use async and await. So we need to modify this here to like that. And then um, this right now, this speak output is a constant up here. So we just need to change that to something that can be modified. So what's going to happen now with this, it's really simple. So we've we're, we've required Axios and um, the module here is going, this configuration is going to make a request to the API and we're gonna get their response back. And when the response comes back after uh, the request, we're gonna be getting um, the response data fields. And then this is the actual record, the value uh, of the, the, the column name. So we wanna go back over here and I named it value in this case. So rather than day, I use this from something else. I want to change that to value. So this is the name of the column. So right here. So with that, save it and deploy this. And while this is deploying, I'll just go back over here. So what we should hear is hello from our CMS. If everything worked as it should, it looks like this is uh, deployed so we can go and test it, I'll open a new tab to do that. And we just called this demo skill. Hello from our CMS. And that's it. So um, we can now control the content here. Uh, and if we make a change, um, Say hello again, this is a new greeting. And if I go over here and request again, hello again, this is a new greeting. So now I can, to update what Alexa says in my skill, I can just go over here and update the, uh, the value for um, the, the key that I'm using. So you could really have all of your content in here and that would be the idea and then you would just use these keys just like we did here to request the content that you want and that way you could go update that content change that content without having to modify your skill so that's it for this one hopefully that was helpful if you have any comments or questions you can leave those and i'll respond just as quickly as possible 
If you did find this helpful and you're watching this video on YouTube, please like the video. And if you're not already subscribed to the Dabble Lab YouTube channel, you can subscribe at youtube.com slash Thanks so much.